top five curses from stolen artifacts. There are all sorts of interesting items in the world, and even more people willing to steal them. From ancient artifacts to more modern doodads, there are plenty of items with long histories and stories behind them. The mystery around an item can lead to people's curiosity getting the better of them and results in a stolen artifact. But sometimes, karma comes back around and the stolen artifacts have curses attached to them. Are there any artifacts you have that you think are cursed? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, let's jump right into this list. Be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome content and don't forget to watch until the end for a bonus surprise. Number 5. The Curse of Timur Emir Timur, also known as Tamerlane, was the founder and ruler of the ferocious Timurid Empire of Central Asia from 1370 to 1405. His hobbies included art, literature, architecture, and raising cities to the ground. His body was exhumed by Mikhail Gerasimov in 1941, who was extremely talented and was even able to reconstruct Timur's face from his skull. The tomb was opened a year later and featured an inscription that read, Whoever disturbs my tomb will unleash an invader more terrible than I. Spooky, given Timur's empire left a body count of as many as 19 million in its wake. Perhaps the curse was true, as two days after the tomb was opened, Russia was invaded by Nazi Germany without any formal declaration of war. After numerous defeats, Stalin ordered Timur's remains to be returned to his tomb. Shortly after, the Soviets won the Battle of Stalingrad, their first major victory against Germany. Nazis were certainly more terrible invaders. Was the curse real or a coincidence? No one has been willing to reopen Timur's tomb since. That's probably for the best, though. Number 4. The Dodge 330 Curse the 1964 Dodge 330 was a fairly regular car put on the market, except for one very frightening exception. One of these cars in particular, known as the Golden Eagle, started out its life as a police cruiser. Three police officers drove it during that time. All three of them were involved in murder-suicides with their families. Afterwards, the car was sold and was soon vandalized by members of a local church. The vandals all died, too, with a few of them getting hit by trucks and four of them getting struck by lightning. The owners then sold the car, and it was stolen and chopped to bits by other members from the same local church. While those that chopped it up have not yet died, the car was rebuilt by Wendy Allen, who currently owns the car. She claims that the car has not hurt her or anyone in her family. This is one of the deadliest curses on the list, totaling more than 50 deaths. Talk about vehicular manslaughter. Do you believe in the Dodge 330 curse? What went wrong with this car in particular? Let us know in the comments. Number 3. The Treasure of King Tut The most famous pharaoh of all time has an interesting story behind him. Tutankhamun was the young king of Egypt and was buried in a pyramid. However, while most tombs were looted relatively quickly, King Tut's tomb was not. Unlike many other pharaohs, Tut's tomb had no markings explaining who the tomb was for in order to deter grave robbers. It worked. The tomb remained undisturbed until 1922, when an archaeologist named Howard Carter discovered and unearthed the tomb, finding countless treasures from thousands of years ago. These were all excavated and removed from the tomb, but something else was released on that day. King Tut's Curse After the discovery, one of the aristocrats who financed the excavation died of an insect bite while in Cairo. Others involved in the excavation all died over the next 23 years. But that's normal, they were all middle-aged and most died of relatively natural causes. So, was the curse real? Allegedly, Carter claimed the tomb was cursed to dissuade media from disturbing the tomb, and thus the excavation. Whether or not the Tutankhamun curse was real, the threat of it was enough to allow Carter a successful excavation, and gave us more insights into the tombs of ancient Egypt than ever before. Number 2. The Little Bastard Car James Dean was an actor in the 50s, Famous for the movie Rebel Without a Cause, a few posthumous acting nominations, and his early death in 1955. The year prior, Dean developed an interest in racing and performed remarkably well for someone with little prior experience. That is, until he got into his car one day on a way to a race, took a shortcut, and crashed into another car in a head-on collision, killing him. Dean was known in the racing circle as Little Bastard, and his car, a 1955 Porsche 550 Spider 
became known as the Little Bastard Car. After his death, Dean's car was put up for auction and was bought by George Barris, famous for building custom cars in Hollywood. However, soon after buying Dean's car, the car seemed to get its drivers into accidents with shocking frequency. From injuring its drivers in accidents to catching on fire while sitting in the garage, the car had numerous incidents surrounding it, and the legend began to grow. Around the turn of the decade, the car mysteriously disappeared, likely being disposed of, along with the curse. Historic auto attractions claim to have a hunk of steel from the legendary car, which was pried off and stolen. Did the curse go with the car, or is it still around? It's a mystery, but no one has been able to locate the little bastard car, even after Barris offered a million dollar prize to anyone who could find it. Number one, cursed Pompeian artifacts. The ancient city of Pompeii wasn't exactly a lucky place. After it was decimated by a volcano in 79 AD, it became a historical site full of archeological artifacts just waiting to be dug up and stolen, apparently. It's not news that people steal artifacts from ancient cities. What is news, though, is when those same people return the artifacts they stole a few years later. Allegedly, people have been coming back to return artifacts they've stolen in years prior, claiming that their luck took a turn for the worse soon after stealing something from Pompeii. Poor health, financial setbacks, and so on. Fortunately for the archaeological park of Pompeii, the legend of the cursed artifacts acts as a decent deterrent to prevent people from stealing them in the future. We shouldn't have to say this, but if you ever visit Pompeii, don't steal anything while you're there. Otherwise, you may bring home more than just a neat pot or stone statue. Thanks for watching the video so far. We've got one more bonus cursed artifact for you. And if you ask us, it's pretty spooky. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this every day. Now, how about that bonus curse? Bonus. Ring of Sylvanus. The Ring of Sylvanus was a gold ring forged in the 4th century. It was stolen soon after by someone named Sinisius, and Sylvanus, the original owner, put a curse on the ring. It was rediscovered in the 18th century and sold by a farmer. In the early 19th century, a curse table was discovered near the ring's original location. It read, Sylvanus has lost a ring and has donated its worth to the god Nodens. Those named Sinisius are permitted no good health until the ring is returned to the Temple of Nodens. The ring was also considered to be the inspiration of the titular ring in Tolkien's famous Lord of the Rings series. In 2013, the Tolkien Society set up a room to display the Ring of Sylvanus, along with a first edition copy of The Hobbit and a copy of The Curse. Thanks for watching our video. Looking for more? Check out this playlist. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. Why not leave a comment down below about which cursed artifact was your favorite? Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.